fuzzy to somebody else. Eventually he got very worried and upset because he liked Maggie's warm fuzzies very much and didn't want to give them up. Well, I received a, an email through a common contact to, to come together and join. Uh, I, did, uh, I knew little about the project, but the idea of faith and uh, some kind of a social march for justice appealed to me greatly. Or has, what has struck me the most out of uh, being here filming. Right? Uh, I guess I have to say it's uh, the people I've gotten to know. Uh, the commitment of each and every one of, of, uh, of the persons involved here to, to try to find a path that is common, even though coming from different ideas, different religious uh, uh, backgrounds and faith, no faith or maybe faith in other things, uh, but just that, uh, that drive to get somewhere and find that, uh, that dream we're trying to forge. We stay, we stay in it for a day because we're pilgrims. Okay. We're walking to Canterbury. Okay. We're walking. So the reason why I joined the pilgrimage is because, um, yeah, I probably was looking for something that would give, would somehow provide me with some kind of real connection to people. Um, I've been going through a time of spiritual desert myself. I think for was very stressed about work. Um, it's hard to make it to be a documentary filmmaker. You have to find a balance. How much you want to give, how much you you need to get from people. It's there is a there is a lot of energy involved in in filmmaking, and you need to to find the right way of um, balancing your energy so that you don't get exhausted. And I think I was feeling slightly exhausted, and the idea of being part of something greater than me that wasn't just only political but also had to do with the spirit I think it was really what I needed so when John phoned me up I don't know I instinctively said they yes they came away feeling bad instead since they thought that they had been exchanging warm fuzzies people grew very confused about this <laughs> never realising that there could be cold prickly feelings that were really the result of the fact that they'd been given a lot of plastic fuzzies If we win it, we go through. Okay. Uh, Rooney's butt. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just throwing it out there. I can't say it. No, you've got it. Maybe the girl. Maybe the girl. We need to go. Okay. Should we do it slightly later? I'm doing it. I mean, I was asked, uh, Maria asked if I could do it last week and um, it, it sounded like a really interesting project. I'm passionate about filmmaking, like any opportunity to get out and, and shoot something, I'll take it pretty much, unless it's something that sounds boring, especially something with it to do with documentary filmmaking. So, so that's why I started doing it, but to be honest, until I actually got here and actually got involved in it, it was, I just thought it was okay, we're going to do the work, we're going to be here for a, do our normal kind of eight hours, that's it, and then at the end of the day, just going to bugger off and that's fine, you know. In fact, on the first day, I actually said to Maria, near the end of the day, I was like, oh, it's five, six o'clock, so, you know, we're going to finish soon. I'm hoping to go and watch the England game, it was on, it's like, 
Uh, no, I don't think it's going to happen. No, we're going to be here all night. Right. Okay, not sure. If <laughs> and then obviously you start to be like, okay, actually, it's not actually about that. We're really, you can tell, especially these guys, are really in this. I think all we'd like to do is do a five. I'm just going with a three or five now. If you've got interviews you want to do, then do it, yeah. 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 And I'll sit here and date a wrangler until it's finished. Mm-hmm. There's just one more okay. card to do after another half so an hour. If I'm staying for tomorrow for the parade, right? That's why, uh, Matt, you're leaving because you have to be at lunchtime in, in London. Do you think right? you can manage that great experience? I, I, st- I can stay till later. I mean, I, I'd, I'd like to be back in London by like four, okay. latest. Really? I think that's fine. It's just, just. I mean, if you need to go earlier, yeah. it's fine. It's just I want to know which one I'm, no. which camera. Well, if there's going to be, if there's going to be something going on, uh, that's going to be important to film, something. which it sounds like it is, then it, that's, yeah. I'll make sure I can stay as long as I can, and then we can. Also, you're going to be lugging that. It's is not it? just that. It's also the microphone case, yeah. and, uh, silly, <laughs> and all your luggage. <laughs> crazy. Man. Because they believe in it, and they believe in this group, and they. Um, have made a real connection with everyone and, and have started to become a part of it. It's not, we're not just here to observe, it's, we're in it as well. So that's how it's happened. The same thing's happened with me. I feel com- like I've been drawn into it and I now, I'm not just sort of looking from the outside because I feel like it's, yeah, it's something which is really powerful and, and worth doing. Yeah.